Hi, everybody. Rory Johnston with you on this St. Patty's Day. Good to be with you. Hope you are enjoying yourself. We got a lot to talk about tonight with a special guest from the state of Tennessee. And we apologize if you notice we're, we're kind of making it an ominous uh, look tonight. Our little screen back there is not cooperating. I think our screen went out for some green beer, I guess. But bear with us just a little bit. Maybe we'll get it fixed. But uh, we welcome you. We hope you are doing well on this Thursday night. Uh, we appreciate you, as always, tuning into News Channel 5 Plus. And we hope that you will uh, take the time, pick up the phone, and call 737 Plus if you would like to be a part of the program, uh, if you have a comment or a question. And of course, you can also uh, send us questions online. Go to News Channel 5's Facebook page, look for News Channel 5 Plus, send a message, Twitter. You can go to Rory Johnston on Twitter if you would like. Uh, our guest tonight, let's get right to it. We want to welcome her, a uh, very busy person, so we appreciate her taking uh, the time after, I'm sure, a, a long day. She is the commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, and that is Marie Williams. Welcome, Commissioner. Hey there, Rory. Thank you so much, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. You got um, it. I see you. Got my, Wonderful green, green tie. got my green tie on. I do. I, I took my jacket off, so I'm a little more comfortable. Uh, uh, even have a green Kelly Green pocket square today to celebrate. But uh, anyway, good to have you with us. <clears throat> we want to dive right into, you know, first of all, this is a great opportunity for you to kind of reconnect with uh, the folks in Tennessee to tell them a little bit about what uh, the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services number one does and, and what's mm -hmm. available, all of the resources that are available to Tennesseans. I mean, we all pay our, uh, our taxes, our sales taxes, our property taxes all along and, and they go uh, to fund uh, certain programs and they're available to us. So I'll start really broad. Tell us about okay. uh, about your department and, and what you generally offer. Well, I really appreciate you asking that question. When you look at the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, you will note that we're broken down into three major areas. Mm -hmm. We oversee the state psychiatric hospitals. So when individuals are uninsured, underinsured, and in need of an inpatient psychiatric hospital stay, and even those with private insurance, uh, we are the hospitals that serve them. We've got about 577 uh, options, uh, so hospital beds across the state, mm -hmm. from Memphis to uh, Chattanooga, to Nashville, and then to Bolivar, where we uh, run Western wow. Mental Health Institute. Let me stop In you there addition, real quick. I, I love a follow-up yeah. here. State psychiatric yeah. hospitals, are they standalone uh, medical facilities or are they usually parts of other hospitals or, or both? Thank you for asking. Um, they are standalone on their own facilities. Mm -hmm. And we do have three East Tennessee psychiatric hospital contracts. There was a decision made a years back to close Lakeshore uh, in that area. And so we contracted with three East Tennessee hospitals who serve population of individuals there. But when they're not able to serve them, they do come to Chattanooga, which serves that 52 county region. So you've got that inpatient psych hospital part of our business. Then you've got the part of our business that has grown by leaps and bounds and has really impacted inpatient psychiatric care and that has to do with our community programs so we have programs where we fund places to offer the behavioral health safety net to offer mobile crisis assessments to offer crisis stabilization unit to offer walk-in centers to offer substance abuse treatment detox to offer inpatient uh, with substance abuse to offer residential services related to mental health or substance abuse. There's a whole continuum, even including school-based programs. And our dollars go out to the local providers to actually hire staff and actually do those interventions and that work. And Rory, I'll tell you under uh, Governor Lee, um, as well as Governor Haslam before him, and with this unbelievably supportive state legislature looking at uh, services for the population that we serve, we have grown by almost 75% in the last 15 years 
if you look at state dollars alone. You'll also note that we have grown programs and services during that time and uh, very grateful for that. So that has to do with our service delivery side. The other stuff that we do, Rory, has to do with uh, monitoring uh, of facilities that are licensed. So we do the licensing and the monitoring of different facilities that provide services across our state. In addition to that, we oversee legislation, rules, and development uh, related to legislation that's passed that might impact individuals that are uh, diagnosed with mental health or substance use issues who are really trying to get on their path to recovery. Um, so that sort of tells you uh, a rundown of the overview of those major uh, areas right. that we oversee. And, you know, uh, I'm sure it, it can be rewarding, but also frustrating to you because I know y your department works on outreach and educating people about what is available, but certainly a lot of Tennesseans really aren't aware, not only with your department, but so many others of the services <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, you know, and facilities that, and people who are ready to help because maybe they're worried about cost or whatever it is, they're just n not aware that it's out there. Right. And Rory, I really appreciate you asking that because it's, it's interesting. Uh, when you look at the numbers of people we serve, for example, the Behavioral Health Safety Net is open to any uninsured Tennessean if you're an adult, 138% of federal poverty level or mm -hmm. below uninsured, 138% of federal poverty level or below, and you get the full array of mental health treatment services from assessment to intervention, whether it's uh, care coordination, case management, uh, whether it's individual therapy, group therapy, whether it's transportation to your appointments, whether it's uh, employment, wraparound services, even medication is funded with a small copay in many cases. And that is free. That is covered by the state dollars that we've been so grateful to get and then give out to local providers. So if you're in the Nashville area, you have providers like Centerstone, you have providers like Mental Health Co-op, providers like Volunteer that are outside of the Davidson County area. All of these providers are able to offer safety net services. We served 40,000 adults last year. So even though a lot of people may say we don't know about it, we did serve 40,000 Tennesseans through this program. Now the other program that's important is the Behavioral Health Safety Net for Kids. It is a program for any uninsured child that is in need of services. Uh, the same uh, providers that are providing the services for adults provide those for kids. And if you have a family that may be dealing with uh, systemic issues with mental health, it's a wonderful way in which to get people into treatment where they don't have to wait sure. until they're insured mm -hmm. and they don't have to pay out of their pocket. When you look at the substance abuse side, very similar, we have what's called the continuum of care. And there are providers across the state that take those dollars and offer to Tennesseans, mainly who are uninsured, because the insurance area, you can get into the services uh, that you need. But things like uh, intensive outpatient, assessment, detox, residential, long-term treatment, those are dollars that the legislature and the governor had put in our budgets to be able to make a difference across the sure, state. Sure. And I'd be remiss, Rory, if I didn't tell you uh, about prevention, education, and then uh, recovery support. So in addition to the community behavioral health programs that I was speaking about, we also fund programs for prevention, education, and then supports after people get out of treatment. Uh, we've worked with prevention coalitions across the state to help really prevent addiction in areas that's really locally driven and community driven. So I, I just want to make sure I, yeah. I hit on that as well. So I mentioned, uh, before we, we're about to hit a, a commercial break here, but one more question. Okay. Uh, if people don't know, how, how much... Uh, do you um, rely on referrals maybe from other state agencies? And how is that, you have to communicate maybe with uh, 
you know, child children's services or other areas who, who you know, have referrals. Maybe there are, are caseworkers who have referrals. Maybe there's law enforcement that have referrals of people who need help. Is that is that correct? Mm -hmm. It is, and I will say again, under Governor Lee, there's been a huge focus on cross collaboration between departments and not having silos. Uh, so I can tell you that I work very closely with Commissioner Nichols, who's the commissioner of DCS. And when they have cases that they need some extra assistance or insight or help with, she will call me and we're right there and vice versa. Right. Uh, we've some things that have come up where we needed their help. DHS, an uh, incredible uh, colleague there, Commissioner Carter. Um, and so when there are situations with his members that may also need mental health substance use, we're there. TBI, uh, TDOC, um, Department of Education, work with uh, Commissioner Schwinn. Um, so I'm very grateful to say that we have strong collaborations between the departments when there are people that we're trying to get services to and serve in the most efficient and effective and cost-effective cost way. Right. All right, with that, we're going to take our first break, everybody. More Open Line with Commissioner Marie Williams after this.